Well, hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day, rounding out this week where we've taken five days to look at the five first books of the Bible, giving about four minutes substance to each of the five. Today, we end with the fifth book of Moses, the fifth book of the Pentateuch, the end of the Torah, depending upon how you verse all of this, or we could just simply say the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy. Now, I'm speaking here out of the English title of the book. In Hebrew, it would be titled Devarim, which is just the Hebrew word for words, which is a critical start of the book. These are the words of. But Deuteronomy, which it comes from two words, deutero, second, and nomos, uh, the, the Greek word for law, um, Deuteronomy is like the second telling of the law, or in Hebrew, the words. What Deuteronomy is to a lawyer is its closing argument. It's not a, a, a succession in time as much as it is at the end of Moses' life. Moses gives his closing argument. And the central themes in the central events in this litany of arguments or discussions that Moses has is to place God in the center of your life. This is the, the book where in chapter 6 it's got that famous Shema. Uh, uh, Shema means to listen, to hear. And the Shema is something that good Jews will still say today. Uh, they'll post it on their doorsteps in a mezuzah. Uh, they, they will say it uh, uh, not only uh, uh, when they go to synagogue, but they'll say it during the day. They'll say it in prayers. It was said at the time of Jesus, it's a Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, it goes on and on. But uh, hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God, and you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind. You know, this, is, this is the core commandment, what Jesus called the greatest commandment. And it's there in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy stresses the idea that God will always be faithful to his covenant with his people, but our, we as his people need to be faithful in our covenant obedience to God. And there's a Hebrew word chesed, which is translated to mean kindness and love and, and all sorts of things, but it's rooted in the idea of being loyal and faithful to the agreements made with God and the agreements that God has made with us and so you've got this idea of loyalty to the covenant that runs front and center in Moses' farewell addresses in the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, he goes through a litany of the blessings that come from obedience to God and the curses that follow from disobedience to God. And then as the book's winding down to an end, uh, Moses is giving his final farewell. There's that transition of leadership to Joshua. And Moses uh, uh, um, is left uh, uh, on Mount Nebo uh, to die as he watches God's people um, go into the promised land. Uh, this is a, a wonderfully touching book, but it's also a wonderful synopsis. It gives the Ten Commandments again. It gives this uh, second telling of the law. And it is uh, profound, succinct, but it's Deuteronomy. It's closing argument. So what are our takeaways from Deuteronomy? Takeaways are these. Number one, remember God's acts. Think back about how he's been faithful and acted in your life and the lives of others you know, and praise him for that. Worship God for that, and worship God alone for that. There's no other God that we should be worshiping than God the Father, and we should worship him and adore him with all of our heart and all of our soul and all of our mind. Nothing else should claim that first place loyalty in our hearts. And number three, uh, remember uh, the ties of obedience to blessing. As we obey and follow God, we walk in his blessings. When we rebel against God, we walk under the curses that follow. And that's my fourth reminder out of the book is it's our choice. We choose life or death. We choose blessing or curse. We choose how we live today. Think about it. It's your video thought for the day.